Good morning, BLS! I'm Carly. And I'm Sam. Nominations for the Crystal Apple Awards are now open. And remember, none of the teachers that won within the last five years are eligible to win this year. Which means none of the good teachers are left. Except me and Raina's teachers. Rec letters? Thursday marks the end of Ramadan, which means it is a no assessment day, so don't let those teachers give you any assessments. Tomorrow, from 3 to 4.30 p.m., there will be a Pokemon themed event. Teams will solve science puzzles to collect badges and become the next Pokemon champion. The event costs $5, but each member of the winning team will receive $15. Sign up for the link in the bulletin. Pokemon! Whether you service the community by sitting in the guidance office during your study halls or actually helped out the world, make sure to log in your community service hours and interview. Especially you seniors, make sure to get those 100 hours in by Friday. Do you want less free time and more money? Join my pyramid scheme. Raina, April, I don't think we should be promoting your parents. Okay, but I let you in on the ground floor. You need to bring in clients. You're not really giving me my money. The SuccessLink summer job application has been extended to May 23rd. Apply through the link in the bulletin. Sign up to audition for Gospel Choir by May 25th. Auditions will be held on June 1st. Raina, weren't you a Gospel Choir? What happened? I was, and I ghosted Gospel Choir. I would not recommend this as a method of quitting being as I have received a ton of passive aggressive emails from them ever since. If this gets to 500,000 likes, I will be dropping the receipts. If you're interested in creating a LinkedIn account or polishing up an existing one, make sure to sign up for the LinkedIn workshops hosted by the Deitch Leadership Institute. Email Mr. Levesque for the Zoom link. Now on to Oriana with the weather. Hello BLS, I am Oriana back with weather and I hope you've been having a great day so far. For the next few days, the temperatures are going to be ranging from the higher 60s to maybe even breaking 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, it will be cloudy and there are decent chances for rain, so as always, remember to dress appropriately. Alright, bye everyone, hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks Oriana, now on to Naomi with sports. Hey, I'm Naomi and I'm here with your sports updates. This week is pretty uneventful, to be honest, like... Not much really happened, but the boys lacrosse team played against Waltham, and unfortunately, they lost. Ooh, tough, but you'll get them next time, I'm sure. Yeah, anyways, that's it for this week. Awesome sports, Naomi. Now on to Woolsey's education segment. Hi, I'm Woolsey. Welcome to my segment, Learn Something with Woolsey. Today, we're going to talk about crab apples. Now you're thinking, what? what? Why would anyone plant a crab apple? It's so stupid. You know, why we, you know. Right? That's what I said. And everyone goes, well, why, why would you plant that there? People don't plant crab apples. People take the seeds out of apples and plant them in the ground. And a crab apple tree grows. Because apples don't reproduce true to seed. It's just like humans. Two people have a kid. They might have some resemblance to the parents. But they're still going to have their own personality and their own facial shape. Same thing with apples. If you plant an apple seed from an apple fruit into the ground and it grows, it's not going to look or taste like an apple. It's going to look and taste like a crab apple. That's what that is. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Wolsey. Now on to BLS on the Block with Harrison and Abdul. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another filler episode of BLS on the Block. Today, I'm going to be getting my mom a Mother's Day gift. I don't know what's a good angle to, like, film at because I don't have a cameraman today. I don't know if this is a good angle. Like, what, what she sees versus what he sees. You know what I mean? That is not school appropriate. You know those videos that are like a day in the life of a Harvard student where they like place down the camera and then walk past it really awkwardly? Yeah, I should make one of those videos because those videos get a lot of views. I should do like a day in the life of a BLS student and then get a lot of views and get like a billion dollars. And I didn't even have to marry Bill Gates. You failed. How does it feel to be a failure? I got my feet! 12 year old YouTubers be like. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Don't want to be happy.
Hi everyone, welcome to the day in the life of a BLS student. So first, I wake up. I'm so relatable, I know. Next, I use the bathroom. Again, so relatable. Then, I feel unmeasurable pain for the next six hours. Okay? Worst six hours of my life. And I experience it every day. And then I finally get out of bed. Buy my merch! BLS on the block. That looked like a great game of Monopoly, Harrison and Abdul. Unfortunately, that's all we have for this week. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Rob Roxy. And remember, good, good luck, luck, Charlie. JK, sue my Stevie. What if we rewrite the stars?